Greetings all praise King C last C. I wanna I want to. That's not good, see? Normally I'd start the video over, but this should serve as a lesson, conditioning. A lot of this conditioning about the language we use comes from what we see and what we hear, obviously. Um, and if we're looking at something or listening to something, we're not thinking for ourselves. We're thinking about what we're seeing or hearing. So if you spend your life looking at a screen, that can only lead you to whatever it is that the person that's sending the message uh, wants you to go. In that case, the word want is acceptable. But I am using the, uh, you know, the topic of language as the discussion and uh, speaking specifically about digital uh, language. Now, I know that the police are laughing because they say that I don't have any views. I find it interesting that even though I have views, when I search YouTube for Ross Reaps, it shows no views. So the first thing people need to know is we're being shown what someone wants us to see. And this process is done through capital in the greater scheme of capitalism. If you are able to access this video, um, you can go back over the years and much of the explanation has been done uh, throughout the videos that I've made. Leaky, come on. Shh, shh, shh. Hey, so, digital communication, this is a new form of communication. Uh, what you see in the visuals, how pictures are displayed, th these are forms of communication. For example, when I make a video, depending on how that picture moves, it's telling a story. Uh, recently I had a video about the community coffin radio programming where um, the, there's a shuffle, so-called shuffle feature, where the, uh, the, the display, the visual, goes behind a black wall. And you know, some people might think it looks retarded and I, the effect is not actually all that spectacular. Of course, I'm working on a $20, $20 uh, video editing program here. Um, and I've, I've tried many of them and you have to have a key and you have to have, you're supposed to have internet access, which I do not. Um, that's a whole nother thing. I use the Coro uh, software, which I know for a fact is uh, externally accessed because when I have done police videos in the past, the sound laps with the visual when it's saved, only when it's saved. It, it, it is on point when I'm working on the, the video and when I go to save it, it, it mixes it. So there's some way that their voice recognition and and that's what we mean. We know about thousand satellites in the sky that are watching everybody's moves. So what is it that we don't know? Just keep that in mind. But this digital communication is a new form of communication. Babylon wants everyone to live in a, a fantasy world with, with you know, sunglasses and a microchip in their skull so that they, people are programmed, they continue to work. I mean, if you think about the Babylonians, you have to know that they're recruiting specific individuals for their careers, for to be the responsible people of societies. You know, and, and, and all the propaganda is is against the, the, the people that they see won't work for them. Now who are they? Because that's another thing, English language, we and they, we and they. You know, a lot of people say follow the money. You can't follow the money because it's all blocked in trust and through lawyers and all these barriers of visibility. So, for example, if you want to say, well, who owns this, this corporation? You start researching. Oh, wait, another corporation owns it. Oh, who owns that? Oh, another corporation. And you just get tied in these trails that lead around in circles. Uh, the Rothschilds aren't in the Forbes magazine, rich people. And, you know, so maybe something... There's something going on there. Um, that's just one family. This is a larger network. 
but they control most of the language and everything because they're making adjustments every year. I mean, the English language is meant to uh, basically uh, segregate, to have an insider group that's knowledgeable, that can communicate with one another without people knowing. You know how sometimes when you're speaking with someone who's, you know, it thinks they're intelligent and they start speaking to you as if they believe you don't know what it is that they're saying <clears throat> because they've already prejudged you. And the Babylonian prejudge you because of the way you look. The Babylonians expect you to have purple hair or maybe you want to have a, a you know, a, a, one of those crew cuts. Uh, you know how the Babylonian look. They're not fooling no one. You know these people that dye their hair and they waited till it was a fashion to start to do this thing. And then they said, oh, you know, we're, we're going to be re uh, different. No. Let's just all be natural. Natural, man. What is, what, is, what is wrong with natural? And so, but the Babylon is, believes that nature is the enemy. It's this Kabbalah practice that, and, and also the Masonic believe Jehovah is Satan. Now Jehovah make all creation. This come before man. Even the herb was put on the earth in Genesis 1.11 before man in Genesis 1.26 and man was given for reward. And so that man He's got to try to speak to his people without you knowing what the plan is. Because, I mean, the man not just going to go and hide and it. it's really difficult for the man to just hide. But the man working on it because of the digital uh, advancement, he, he's going to be able to sit in his little cubicle or whatever, you know, it's more like a palace and, and you know, control and control things. This, is, this stuff is already being done. Now the cars is automated and, and, you know, like I said, the drones and the satellites, um, the, 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 the microchips, and the man is planting cameras on, on everything. You know, the man is, is making robots to have sex with. I mean, talk about Special Olympics. And the man is going to make a camera and voice recorders and all that stuff and just watch people because he's obsessed. The man has already seen. You have to know that the man has seen all this stuff. So the man is super bored with himself. And so he's looking to have some fun. And he's not going to tell you about it. You know, remember how they had um, set up JFK and like in, the, in, in Cuba, you know, and they, they got the walls that are made of glass. Well, that's just, that's old school. And a lot of stuff we hear about, especially this 1984 thing. This guy worked for the intelligence agency of Britain. So he's on the end, and his job is to destroy the revelation of St. John. Yes, the prophecy. Because this tells the truth. It, just because some man come along and try to copycat what has already been written. He shouldn't be given all the attention. But these men are looking to communicate, so pay attention, because they're looking to communicate through visuals, because they think they're smarter than you. And they're speaking in two tongues, because they have two faces.